I love music, I always have, and I think that there's uh, a time and place for all kinds of music. You know, it's a never-ending gift, and it brings people together, which is always a good thing. Small towns are embracing live music, especially independent live music, a lot more than uh, I've ever seen in my lifetime. Wheaton is a great town. It's about uh, 1,300 people. Um, small, good tight community. We have Lake Travers about 15 minutes away, so we have a lot of um, uh, tourism out here. and It's just a neat, neat place to raise your kids. Nice people. This is a 1970 DeVille Cadillac. My Uncle Bear passed on to me. So I'm kind of like the curator of this museum on wheels. It's a pretty sweet ride. I think he calls it Agnes, but I just call it that. <laughs> Well, my garage has kind of been my sanctuary. It's where I like to listen to all my music and have our friends over. And we haven't had a car in there for five years. <laughs> I seem to come home with uh, used vintage gear that I find when I'm on the road. And that's really a rabbit hole that you can fall deep into um, becoming an audiophile. I'm, luckily, I, <laughs> I'm not that fussy. I like CDs, cassettes. Uh, vinyl everything so my wife gets after me sometimes when I come home with forty dollars worth of thrift store records but she knows how much I love it and she's been great she's been really supportive of everything we've done I couldn't do it without her it's my wife Kristen I think the decision to try to bring some more music out here, independent music, was me getting older and not wanting to drive all the way to the Twin Cities or Sioux Falls or Fargo. Um, and over the years, I've met a lot of really cool people in the music uh, business, if you will. Um, so we just decided one time to have some of my friends from Sioux Falls come up. That was uh, my friend Thomas Hentges, who goes by Burlap Wolf King, and my friend Chad McKinney, who uh, goes by Dr. Barkey, who's been in several bands down there. And then our friends uh, in uh, Giving Back Jack from Fergus, they came. And we had this over at uh, an old church that we called the Old Jehovah House. It was an old uh, Jehovah Witness Hall that my friend had bought for uh, using as a shop. And we just kind of fixed it up and turned it into a little music venue. Had a stage in there, the sound was great. We've had shows there for about three years now. One of the shows we had at the old Jehovah House was a band called The Kickback. And they're an indie rock band from Chicago. The lead singer, Billy, is originally from South Dakota. And one of my college roommates was uh, his bass player. We had them come up and play with, also with a band from Ortonville that opened up. And that was a lot of fun. We don't get indie rock bands from Chicago around here very often. The audience loved it. Everybody had a great time dancing around. It's just something different. And it's, it's pretty cool to see, you know, 90% uh, of the audience who have no idea who the band is, but they come out for the event, love the music, 
and um, just enjoy seeing and hearing something new, something different. Right now, the, the next show that we're working on is going to be at the Wheaton American Legion, and that's going to be with Bernie King and the Guilty Pleasures from Minneapolis and Burlap Wolf King Band from Sioux Falls. Um, they're going to be staying at the house with us, so we're going to have about 14 people staying here. So we'll have every room occupied, and we'll have a camper pulled up, and it's really fun when we get people to come and stay with us. And I know these bands like to come out to smaller towns too. It's really um, kind of a kick for them to get out of there and play to different crowds. We've had shows and af after the shows the bands come here and my wife is a great host. And we put them up in the house and we've had bands come here and play in the garage and you know do acoustic sets when the kickback was here. They were playing a song for my kids and some of my friends kids uh, on instruments that my boys own. So <laughs> that little bongo drum and a, out of tune acoustic guitar and everything and they were just so gracious. We've been very fortunate, you know, my children have got to see Charlie Parr play an acoustic gospel song in our kitchen. We had artists like Charlie Roth and Brady Pearl come and stay with us and play in our living room or out in the garage and it means a lot to me that my boys are going to get to um, see some of these people and have these great memories. Some of the bands that we've had here that I really love, these are all local bands, uh, kind of Minnesota. Uh, the Dead Pigeons, Jack Clatt, Brady Pearl, Bernie King and the Guilty Pleasures, Javier Matos, Crankshaft and the Gear Grinders. Uh, a lot of good bands, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. I know I probably am. We couldn't make these shows happen without the people that support us. You know, this Traverse County Music Club was just something that I came up with, but it's essentially all the people that have supported us. The shows that we've done have been mostly donation fueled. So we, we depend on people to pitch in so we can pay for the artists and it's been overwhelmingly positive. I think that independent music is alive and well and there's kind of a renaissance. There's people all over Minnesota and I think all over the country that are hosting um, you know, house shows and barn shows and it's like it used to be in the 70s. I always heard stories about people having shows out, of, out in, a, in a pasture or a grove or in a barn and uh, I think that live music is kind of coming back. I think people are kind of rejecting a lot of the digital age that we're in now and want something a little bit more real. Oh, I never got to say the things I need to say I will see you on the other side No one know that you are gone As I sit and sing this song I can feel you right here by my side When this first started, it was just about bringing some friends to come up and play some live music and enjoy it. And the more people that I've met doing this, I've taken on different roles in supporting them. And it's, it's just something that I'm passionate about. Just trying to give back to my community a little bit. You know, this is the one thing that I know and love. You know, I don't really know how else to contribute to the community other than just being a good parent and husband and citizen. Visit pioneer.org slash postcards to catch up on missed episodes and to find out more about your favorite segments.
This program on Pioneer Public Television is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. Additional support provided by Mark and Margaret Yakel Juline in honor of Shalom Hill Farm, a nonprofit rural education retreat center in a beautiful prairie setting near Wyndham in southwestern Minnesota. ShalomHillFarm.org. The Arrowwood Resort and Conference Center, your ideal choice for Minnesota resorts, offering luxury townhomes, 18 holes of golf, Darling Reflection Spa, Big Splash Water Park, and much more. Alexandria, Minnesota. Explore hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for a great vacation or a place to hold an event. ExploreAlex.com. Tri-State Brain and Spine Institute. With locations in Alexandria, Edina, Crookston, and Maple Grove. Doctors dedicated to evaluating and treating all types of brain and spine problems, no matter how complex.